Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero season 2 part 2 episode number 7. All right, the previous episode um Emilia passed the trial and um like we got to see her past, what actually happened and like I was under the impression that Emilia broke the seal and that's why everyone got frozen, but apparently that's not the case. Um, Emilia herself is kind of the reason behind everyone freezing and the seal is still there and he as she said that I kept my promise so, so that's what happened and I'm guessing Park broke her out later on and there are still a few questions left but I'm sure we'll get those answers gradually as well and uh, that and there was this whole situation with um, Otto where Otto was like a you know foreign entity in like in front of Roswell so he didn't even look at him before so like <laughs> Otto was the reason like everything went out of plan of like or not did not go according to Roswell's plan and Subaru won the wager kind of so now he was I think he's going to like tell something about the sanctuary like what actually is the situation here what like stuff like that we're probably going to get a few questions answered in this episode as well and I'm sure we are uh, going to get a lot of other backstories as well of I'm guessing Beatrice, uh, Ekidona, Ryuzu which was kind of shown in the previous episode a little bit so like that is something that I'm really interested in so let's see what this episode brings so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with ReZero season 2 uh, part 2 episode number 7 <laughs> alright so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sing it to whichever is your preference and let's get started Okay, so here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Roswell's flashback. Yeah, this is a young Roswell, isn't it? <clears throat> Brave illness. Past meeting. Of Ekidona and Roswell. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Mana. Excess mana. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Th this started off pretty. Uh. I I'm sure like the mana reduced. Yeah. So this is like okay. Oh, I was going to say it was a disease, but no, it's not. Magic release period. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait, so Akijana also suffered from this? No, occasional does nice thing. Uh, does nice thing. Okay. Okay, so I can kind of understand the, you know, connection between Beatrice Roswell and all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, Beatrice. Hmm. 
Best in my parents and still. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what about that, Beatrice? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Ah, she's here. He called her sensei. One thing I'm really curious about, why are they not showing her face? Like, what the hell? Like, in the previous episode as well. Oh, she narrated this. Okay. What to do? Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Refined, yes, that was... Oh, she played tricks like this on Ruzu. <laughs> That's exact. <laughs> oh my god, okay. With a good friend. <laughs> what? I'll definitely tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't say that. Mm, yeah, I, I, I'm, I might be willing to do that if I have, you know, spare time. Mm, yeah. yeah, no choice, I suppose. What? Oh. What? Who is here? What the? Who is this? She was wearing Emilia's clothes, wasn't that? Oh. Plans for the sanctuary and...
core resistance. And reduce the volunteer. Yeah, like. Requirement for the core. After mana and the land adapt to one another. And, and they're hesitating because obviously it's <coughs> like Ruzu is alive, so oh, there's cat list. What in the process? Oh, okay. So that's how, like, you know, Ryuzu got, like, kind of sealed. Yeah, she won't like it, you know? Mm, yeah, that's also correct. Oh boy, like... All right, so who is this person? Damn, what the, who is this? He looks like he's wearing the, you know, Emilia's. Who is this? Oh, whoa, whoa. Is, is this the slot, like the slot factor before? Who has the Ansley in hand or something? Like he's using Ansley in hand, isn't it? Yeah, he's using the unseen hand, I'm sure of it. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Oh no. Devil of Melancholy. Hector, devil of melancholy. Whoa, who is this?
Ja Kidona. The way he talks. The way he talks, like... Oh, this is the thing the, where he she sealed, you know. The original resume is sealed. Oh, she doesn't know. Oh no, not for Ryuzu, like, she's... Oh no. Yeah, Beatrice doesn't know, like... Oh no. Yeah, he is. Oh no, Beatrice. Yeah, he uh, she understands now. Look like, what that is for. Yeah. Oh no. No, like I don't I won't agree with that. That as well, yeah. So this was like a protective place for them, which, you know, protected them.
Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, this is why she like lives in a library. She always, you know, like is involved with books. This is from like something from Ryuzu that she got. Okay, that was what Super was told. Now, is there anything else? Oh no. Okay, don't start now, Roswell, like, after all of this. Like... Like, that's not the point of this, like, Roswell. He made the decision himself. Yeah. That's his decision. You don't have any right to say anything about that, Roswell. Like, you being a prisoner of your own past. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he made the decision himself after standing up for him. Exactly. Which Roswell was unable to do properly. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. Your greatest weapon was...
Like, He is living in the past. Yeah, that's why. Same lineage as the Beginning of the century and the beginning of the end. Oh, this is still something left. Oh, the ram is here. Oh, the ending. Okay, let's see. Damn, this episode. I I was like I, I was not able to talk in the end. Like it was it became so intense. This is uh, this song is by Nonok, isn't it? Uh, like, like I, I think I've heard another song from uh, the same person. Uh, it was from Isekai Quartet, I think. Uh, Nonok also heard, like sang a song. Yeah, this is from Nonok.
Wow, the animation is clean in this ending. Damn! Just look at it. So bright and so beautiful. <laughs> this, is like, this is like an Ultra HD. <laughs> wow. Damn this episode. Okay, uh now so so one thing, like correct me if I'm wrong. So the whole sanctuary, the reason for the existence of the sanctuary is like protecting them from that person, isn't it? Uh the guy who we saw wearing Emilia's clothing. That was Emilia's clothing, wasn't it? Um Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, that is Emilia's clothing, like like, I don't know what's up with this type of, uh, you know, like, just a sec, I'm really, like, getting confused about a few things. So, like, especially the timeline. So, this, like, this happened, like, the things that we saw in this episode, the whole thing with Roswald, Beatrice, Yuzu, I'm guessing this happened before Emilia was born. Yeah, definitely, this happened, this was, like, 400 years ago, where the witch was still living with all of them. So this happened 400 years ago and the same clothing is, was later worn by Fortuna and then Emilia. I, I'm not sure if there's any connection between them but uh, we'll probably get to the answer later on. Anyways, so yeah, so, so as I was saying, like, so this sanctuary was made for them like as a safe heaven for them, it wasn't it? Like uh, for uh, these uh, like demi like humans and all of the people who were being like kept like who were like living here, and the uh, that guy the, I, I'm not sure what was his name uh, like the devil of what did you call it devil of melancholy uh, Hector. Okay, so devil of melancholy Hector. Like so. All right, so this person he uh like came in and was trying to i don't know do something which i'm i don't know we'll get more of it later on or not like what actually was he trying to do but he was like beating up rosewall and was here for something and he knew uh, echidona and the way he talked with echidona it seemed as if like he also knew echidona from his from her like in her past so like uh, he said like uh, like previously you were like you know adorable but now you're something like that so uh, as all like, villains do anyways um so yeah so this was uh like done for that like the whole uh like thing with the barrier was done so that uh, this person could be uh like like there was there would be like this barrier from people from invading this i'm guessing so that was the reason why Ryuzu is uh, being kind of being sealed. The original Ryuzu mayor is being uh, sealed within that ice kind of thing. And she is like the core of the barrier. And uh, they said something about the ode of her soul or something like that. Uh, like a few things I still have, I still have a confusion with. Anyways, so, all right, so. Like, Am I correct or am I wrong? Like, so the sanctuary is made to protect them. And Ryuzu Mayor is the person who is the core of it. And due to her, like, there's this protective barrier. And Rosewall, that's why doesn't want this to be... Uh, like, you know, I'm getting a little bit confused. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, one thing that I'm really confused with is what is actually Rosal like, like what does Rosewall actually want like as far as I could understand Rosewall doesn't want this section like the uh, trials to be like uh, like like he doesn't want the sanctuary to be liberated is that it so like <clears throat> that's the only thing I can understand from this because obviously like he said that like I've been doing this for 400 years stuff like this 
So be sure to please correct me if I'm wrong because uh, like this is one thing that I am really confused with is what does like what purpose does this actually like this sanctuary actually serve? So and why does you know Rosewall want to preserve it so much because it is something from his past? Is that the reason why it is something that uh, his beloved that is Echidona did? Is that the reason? The person that she loved for four hundred years it was it is something from her. Is that the reason he is protecting it or something or am i like missing something anyways I i'm sure like uh like i i like the, the these kind of like confusions will get cleared out as we like delve on more into the story eventually so yeah and but one thing that we understood here is that like rosewald's like what actually like his motivation is it's echidona like Ekidona is like the like the main person here behind his actions and that and another thing that was uh, like that had uh, been you know that we got to know in this episode is what Subaru said that like Roswell is like a negative person and Subaru is like the positive person like Roswell said that we are the same but the way they like they, the things that they believe are completely opposite now he like believes in the weakness in the weakness of the you know people's like feelings and he, like as far as I could understand that is what he stresses on where Subaru is completely opposite to, to that he believes in the strength of people's feelings and bonds and like like Garfield as Garfield said that like who would I go with a person who thinks that like uh, like I'm weak or the person who thinks that yeah I'm strong and I need his help like who will I go with obviously the person who thinks that I'm strong and needs my help so that's why he took like it like an own decision and the thing that Roswell was saying that so the 10 years that you have and like the conviction that you had for 10 years uh like now you're like uh like you're now, now like a happy uh, like a merry band of friends and like going along with subaru what he's doing so does that not mean anything the 10 years of feelings that you had for for your mom the conviction that you had now i have to disagree with roswell here uh which i'm sure or subaru also does because uh the thing that rosewall is doing like i think like rosewall obviously thinks that he is kind of comparing himself with garfield and also subaru in a way and uh like he is thinking that oh i i'm like 400 years i've been only like thinking about one person and my the weight of my feelings uh, surpasses each and every one of them so, uh, and he's also a little bit of prideful about that you know like as far as i could understand from his like the way he was talking and he so like he means like he he's like living in the past and doing something only based in your past emotions for 400 years yeah like i can understand that is pretty that is a pretty big deal but like i have to say like that's all well and good but you should also look past that you know like only keeping your eyes focused on a single thing for so many years without getting any result visible result i'm sure something is wrong with it then isn't it so the thing that garfield did obviously like as subaru said that him accepting my help does not make his feelings you know like does not reduce his feelings that he had for his mom like that is not what this is about but obviously Roswell does not think like that he like he believes in the uh, weakness of people's bonds but whereas Subaru believes in the strength of it so obviously Subaru is taking this in an extremely positive way at the same time Roswell is taking it in an extremely negative way he's thinking like oh you like uh, like so your feelings are not strong enough uh, like he's thinking like that so as I said that I disagree with that wholeheartedly because obviously uh, Rosewall is just clinging to his past at this point like like Echidona is not alive anymore uh, like 
that and there was this whole like uh, him like for 400 years doing like kind of like protecting this place and everything like and uh, him also not like he's like that you know um person who always thinks that yeah my way is the correct way and like okay that's all right like you can do it but do not involve other people in your things you know like there are like i'm sure like there as there are like people who uh, have sim like share a similar sentiment like you there are also a lot of people who do not and like okay like i can understand like the way you're doing it that's your own way i can like respect that but why the hell are you ruining others lives because of that the whole thing with the mansion like you are harming people you know you are trying to like like kill them like just so that subaru can you know become a person like him i really like I can understand where what Roswell is going through, but I have to say that I do not condone the way he is doing it. So, and there's like I'm really unable to talk it with about this more freely because there are a few still a few confusions in my mind about a lot of things. As I said, that what actually is does he want, like uh, and and a, a few other stuffs like the actual significance of the sanctuary, these kind of things. Um, I like I'm thinking about googling it but I really do not want to do that because I might get spoiled very badly so I probably would not do it and like uh, try my best to you know uh, like I'm sure like we I at least I'll get clarified about this as the like episodes go on because uh, like uh, at least like for the time being uh, the way they explain the whole situation is a little bit murky you know like there are a few question marks here and there in my mind about a few things so like unless and until i get the full picture i really cannot say anything else about this but one thing that i'm pretty sure about is the way roswell is doing is completely wrong like as super said that you're looking at the negative of stuff which is not something that you should always do you should look at the strength of the uh, uh, like the, look at the good things of the like situation as well and like do it like that like you know looking at the bad things always makes you uh like step backwards like that's the problem i can understand as far as you can understand like looking as 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 roswell is you know looking at the weakness of people uh, and that is like a negative thing looking at negative things always makes you step backwards which is what he is doing he is always you know either standing still or stepping backwards but like in the meantime subaru is looking at the positive of things and looking at positive of things makes you like at least makes you like move forward like that's a problem like subaru is moving forward and roswell is either standing still or moving backwards this is the main problem here it's like roswell wants the status quo to go on but subaru doesn't want that and yeah that was the whole thing with roswell and uh, we kind of got the backstory and i think like roswell had a not a disease but that was a condition i'm guessing that whole mana excess stuff that he was going through and <clears throat> then there was this uh the whole beatrice and use situation and one thing i'm really uh, unable to understand is why are they not showing Be like ekidona's face like i like i saw this in the previous episode as well when like uh, beatrice and ekidona was introduced as a flashback they're not showing ekidona's face now one like obviously if ekidona was not introduced before this if ekidona was like a new character i couldn't have understood if they did not show their face it would have been like a you know suspense as to who is this person who is this person but Ekidona has been introduced from season 2 so like why are they not showing their face now like at this time like point of time it's kind of weird isn't it so I, I think there is something with that like there must be some kind of thing which they are trying to do here which I'm not sure but it might not be anything like <laughs> serial like uh, like I might be thinking too much into it as well like I don't know anyways so and also there was this whole new character here which i have no clue who the hell he is like they called him a devil so like <laughs> we have witches here so obviously like 
like at least like uh, we shouldn't be surprised if we get devils now so yeah and <clears throat> oh another thing that i uh, like saw the way the uh, uh, hector talked that resembled the way like um Roosevelt talks uh, kind of you know stretches his words nah like this <laughs> so i don't know if that has some other kind of like you know implications maybe maybe not who knows and yeah that was it so i was really oh and also another thing <laughs> that roswell was mad with was and the whole like my 400 years will never be overturned by an ordinary person like you um i think like, you know roswell was a bit salty <laughs> he was thinking like who the hell is this subaru guy like he comes into my like 400 years of plan and starts messing things up like what does he even think he is like i have like like loved this ekidona person for 400 years my like uh, <laughs> like feelings for her is so much and i'm like suffering so much for her and i'm like trying to do everything for that and who is this guy subaru naski subaru like who is he like he is coming into my like uh, <laughs> into my area and up like overturning each and everything like <laughs> i'm sure like that's one reason that he's so mad and obviously like uh and at the same time he's also quite fascinated by subaru because as he said before you know like we are the same like, he sees himself in subaru the way he like suffered and like the way subaru is kind of suffering but obviously subaru's suffering is a lot more because he's dying literally dying like 10 20 times like i doubt like any kind of suffering can surpass that but anyways and uh, so yeah as i'm as i was saying so he kind of also sees himself in subaru uh, which is also why he was trying to you know mold subaru as himself like you know the way like as he said that uh, like in this previous season he also stated that that i want you to become that person who will only be able to do everything for only only a single one but like single woman that is like Emilia in his case so like he doesn't want Subaru to save each and every one he only wants you know his like uh, suffering to be the fuel for Emilia only and like do everything to save that one person which like I'm sure like Subaru does not want to do and like also like we like at least uh, me, me as a like you know audience looking like watching this show i also does not want do not want subaru to go in that direction so yeah and yeah so roswell like this kind of showed roswell as a character how like who like what he actually is and roswell as i like as we said like as roswell looks at the uh, like negative of stuff he underestimates amelia like uh, in, in a like huge like you know in a big uh, amount like he really underestimates her uh, and thinks that yeah she won't be able to do anything but as far as i've seen her like you know uh, carry out the trial i'm sure emilia will be able to uh, like surpass the expectations roswell and everyone has for him subaru believes in him uh, in her and Emilia also got that uh, self confidence and boost and uh, that and I, I, I as far as i can uh, understand like the thing that the, the, the like the situation that we sh was shown in this episode uh, roswell and uh, uh, like subaru kind of you know uh, arguing this was during the time when emilia was undergoing her trial wasn't it so that means emilia has still not come out at that moment so i'm guessing uh, like at the point emilia comes out like obviously we know emilia like won the trial like she passed it so as soon as she came out of the trial i think super won super won his wager and the bet and uh like i'm sure like uh like she, he will understand now that no I'm, i might be wrong and yeah so yeah that was it guys so 
as i said before there are still a few confusion in my mind so like i don't know if that will like i'm sure that will be eventually cleared out one such confusion is the whole like what rosewall actually wants like what has been has she been doing for this 400 years what is his objective and the other thing is like what is the actual significance of the sanctuary is it just here for you know protecting them protecting the people who are living inside is that the only significance or is there something else like i really I, like I, I really i don't think i should google this because i might get spoiled about a lot of other things so i will not do it but i'll try my best you know to understand each and everything because it's quite confusing uh so yeah so yeah guys that's it uh and also another thing like i was like talking about the whole uh you know subaru looking at the positive of thing and like also roswell doing the whole thing with subaru where he wanted subaru to become himself you know the way only he will be able to choose only one person and like uh do his best for only one person which obviously subaru is not like Subaru does not want that like this thing like i know one thing that the author of uh like rezura does that is i, I think uh, in every birthday of subaru he writes an if story like what if this happened what if this happened and i think they have like you know branching roots of like each and every sin like sloth uh greed um lust um and other like gluttony and all of those things like the each and like they have like an if root and like and, and a lot of them like subaru kind of becomes a bad guy which i'm not sure if they are going to adapt that or not if they really adapt it i'll be extremely like pleased like i'll be extremely happy if they really adapt it because obviously i do not like read or light novels and i doubt i don't think they have any manga of that so like you know as short ovas or spin offs if they like adapt that it will be extremely like like i'll i'll be really happy because i really want to you know like see you know uh, subaru as a villain because i kind of know like i think in the last story like subaru like <laughs> gets this <laughs> like harem of <laughs> like rams emilia and all of them i don't know like i think there's this one the whole thing and there's this another thing of i think uh, if like subaru like in the greed after story uh, if subaru like takes ekidona's hand in the previous season you know where subaru like rejected ekidona but if subaru took her hand what would have happened after that like this is branches so i'm i'm extremely curious about this so if like there's no chance of any anime coming out of that i should probably you know look at some youtube videos of of some kind of summaries that they do usually do but i'm just waiting if they have any plans of doing the the if roots uh, which should probably uh, like uh, reserve itself is pretty like long so like uh, there's a lot of like uh, source material of reserves left to be adapted and the story itself is ongoing so i'm not sure if like when that will come or if it will like whether like or if it will uh, come or not so anyways so yeah guys so that was it that was this episode this was um rezero season 2 part 2 episode number 7 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed or you haven't uh consider doing so and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share about this episode or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um i'll be back with uh, another episode of rezero season 2 part 2 next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day